Okay, y'all. So I am sitting in the car waiting for Tiara to get her um nails finished. I've been sitting out here about an hour. I'm getting sleepy and I'm trying to think of what I want to eat. Thinking maybe some grilled fish, maybe. I don't know. But yeah. It's about 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My appointment to get my makeup done is at 6 o'clock. I already have my clothes out. Everything is prepared. So, we will see how the rest of the day goes. Let me know in the comments what you guys are doing today. Today is a really, really big day for me and for my son. Um, I definitely will probably put some of our interview on YouTube. Um, the interview questions that we're going to be asking each other or the producer's going to be asking, whoever's going to be asking. I probably will put that part on um, on my channel. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Sitting out here waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, y'all. So I'm on my way to the makeup artist to get my makeup done, guys. And we're going to see how this goes. This is my first time getting my makeup professionally done, which I've already stated. I believe I did in a um, previous clip. But anyway, my first time. So... I'm excited. I'm nervous. Ooh. I normally don't. I don't wear um, full face makeup. Normally, I'll have on lashes here and there. Not all the time, but I wear lashes. And draw my little eyebrows on. And put on me some lipstick or lip gloss. But I don't wear. I normally don't wear foundation unless I'm actually going somewhere. Or it's a big event. Like tonight. Okay. I normally don't wear it. Um. I used to not have problems with it, but it, um, my skin, the older I get, the crazier my skin gets, so, anyway, we're gonna get it done, we're gonna get it done, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get it done, we're gonna get it done, we're gonna get it done, we're gonna get it done and see what it look like, so y'all stay tuned, in the next clip, you will be seeing my beautiful face, beat out. Okay, y'all, so I am all dressed. It's very dark, so I know you can't really see. Hopefully, they can get some photos or videos of me when I get there in the light, but I was in such a rush trying to get home, get my clothes on, and get on the road. I have 35 minutes to go. Um, the audience, the recording audience is already there, and they're already recording different things that they have to record. Um, so when I get there, all I've got to do is um, we're going to get started with the interview and then we'll get started with the service. Okay, guys. So I enjoyed y'all with me on this vlog, y'all. This is so not me. This is my first time wearing a hat. This is my first time getting my makeup done. Okay. Boss Lady Fee love to look good and I love to wear nice things, but I have never worn a hat a day in my life. Okay. 
but remind, keep in mind that I told you guys the um, interview topic is the many hats in ministry. So that's why we're all wearing hats to kind of blend in with the topic. So, all right, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching this video and this vlog. If I do get some more pictures or videos, I'll stick it in at the end of um, this video. If not, guys, I will see you on the next video. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag. Until the next video, bye, y'all. Hey y'all, this is me just arriving at the church, guys. And I was told to stand outside until they came to let me in because they didn't know where they were gonna be in the recording session. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting here, guys. And little do I know I'm standing out here waiting because they are getting everybody inside prepared to surprise me. But honey, I thought I was there to record for TV. So stay tuned, guys.
Hey there, it's Apostle San Franklin. Listen to this thought. I am one who ascribes to the saying that a picture is worth a thousand words, right? Because if you look in the dictionary, there are just other words describing a word. So if I believe that a picture is worth a thousand words, then I also believe if you look up the word strength, you would find a picture of Apostle Felicia Winstead. Congratulations, woman of God, on your Founders Day weekend. We appreciate you, we celebrate you, and we thank God for your life and your legacy that's being carried out in the earth realm. God bless you. Hello, I'm Latoya Harrington, Senior Pastor at the Kingdom Church located in Lumberton, North Carolina. I'm also the lead seamstress and designer at SoFab and Company. Listen, Apostle, I wanted to personally thank you for your continued support over the years. You always rock SoFab and Company so well. Today, I celebrate you. I congratulate you. Many would have given up in your shoes, but you have stood the test. 
You have stood your ground, and I thank you. Thank you for being such uh, an amazing woman, a trailblazer, not only in ministry, but in the marketplace as well. You got this. Listen, continue to do the work of the Lord. Remember, he that has begun a good work shall see it to completion. You can't stop, won't stop, don't stop. We love you on today, and we celebrate you. Blessings. Well, hello, Apostle Felicia. It gives me a great pleasure to stop in virtually and wish you a happy Founders Day. Certainly, this is the Lord's doing and is marvelous in my eyes. I've been privileged to know you since I was a little boy. And one thing that I can always remember about you is that you were a praiser and you are a entrepreneur. So that sounds up of who you are, the marketplace apostle. So you know, you all are like family to me. We've had a lot of good times, um, cried together, ate together, cut up together. And I just am elated that I got the opportunity to stop through and wish you a happy Founders Day. Listen, the best is here. I'm so excited to see what God is going to do in your life and what he's even thinking about doing. Love you all. Take care.